You might have noticed that some Germanic languages have some consonants at the end of their second person singular accusative. This would be the in English if thou were still used. These are day and dich in modern Swedish and German. And you might also know that the Romance languages have te as their the. For English, we can infer that there used to be a consonant at the end, which has been lost. But is this the case for the Romance languages as well? No. The Proto-Germanic fi was tek, whereas the Proto-Italic for te was also te. So where does this k come from? It turns out that there was an empathic variant to uh, accusative pronouns in Proto-Indo-European. If you wanted to say, for example, check yourself before you wreck yourself, you would say twege instead of twe, the normal accusative. And these words survived in three branches of the Indo-European languages. One was the Germanic one, where it became thick, and then later dich in High German. Another was Armenian, first with ket and then kes in modern Armenian. The third was Anatolian, which as a language family is extinct, so the Hittite took did not develop into anything further. These three branches are located far away from each other and are not particularly closely related to each other, so it appears to be just chance that these survived in these languages and not others.